So the, the issue I think LeBron is suffering with, sometimes when you're on top of the amount and there are no mirrors up there, mm -hmm. it's just you all by yourself and you look down on everybody else. <clears throat> and, and, and again, I think it's a struggle that everybody that's had success almost at any level does to look in the mirror and to judge themselves. LeBron's the leader of the team. He's talking about uh, all being all in with basketball, his basketball, everything. And I don't think he's able to see that he set the tone for that. He's doing every damn talk show he can think to do. He's developing movies. He's uh, he's trying to do everything. He's not all in on basketball. The rest of the players sense it, and they're following his lead. Yeah, you got to hit LeBron with the, the Mr. Miyagi. <laughs> no such thing as a bad teacher. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no such thing as a bad student. That's what I said. Remember that? Uh, yeah, yeah. Just bad yeah. teachers, man. This is yeah. Kobe Bryant 2.0. We've been here before, bro. I've yes. been here. I yes. remember Kobe doing it. Yes. Black swan, white swan. Remember that? Yeah. And he was calling out Pau Gasol and calling out everybody saying... How about 2006? Man, these dudes are like... It's something about the Lakers. And, and I'm pointing out the Lakers because it's the biggest brand in basketball. It's La La. It's Hollywood. There's something about being the man on that team in this era with this pressure and their underachievements where they cannot take that as a collective effort. That's Kobe right. could not. He had to displace himself from his teammates, even in championship efforts. Uh, Pogasol got punched in the chest by Phil Jackson. It got to that place where everybody was saying, I versus you. And now you're seeing LeBron just replicate that model. And it's sad to see that LeBron doesn't want to be the big dog, which means you take the hits for all of us young pups as we're starting to evolve and learn the game <clears> like you did. Kind of sad to see again. Well, you make a great point, Marcellus. I, I've been through this, right? We've all been through this where um, the guys are young. And when LeBron first came in, the first month he's filling himself out to see who's going to take that next, you know, uh, torch, whether it's Ingram Ball, whoever it is. And the ball was getting jerked around a little bit as far as starting, not starting, this, that, whatever. LeBron's not used to carrying younger talent. This is, you know, that younger talent where the patience is very short. Mm. And you said, when you come to the Lakers, when I come to the Lakers, there's an expectation. Whether it's when Kobe first came in, right? Uh, 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 Shaq and Kobe and mm. now LeBron. There's an expectation that you have to live up to. So... That's an unconscious pressure that's already on you because you, you're the one that everybody's going to blast when things go wrong. And you're the, you're the one that everybody's going to lift up when things go well. That's just how it's got to work. Now, when I, was, when I went with the Clippers in 05, 06, before that, their records, let me just go four years back, 27-55, 28-54, 37-45, and then when I got there, 47-35, let me go to the Western Conference semifinal, okay? You still had the same guys but they didn't know how to win. No disrespect to Elton Brand, Corey Maggette, nothing. But the point is, Corey was getting 20 a game. Elton was getting 20 a game. But they just found a way to lose. And that's what LeBron is saying. When, you have, when you're finding ways to lose, even if I'm not here, I'm, I'm impatient. Yes, I'm doing movies and books and this and that all right now. I wasn't doing that early on in my years. That's not what I was doing early in my years. I was creating my legacy early on. My legacy still now. But I'm a little frustrated because when I'm watching you guys, whether you're in restaurants, on the road, how you act on the plane, practice, whatever it is, I'm a little irritated of you because you're not taking it in. This basketball is your life. Should he not point the finger at himself at any point? Mm. Does he not deserve some of the blame for I'm that? Not, no, you're right. I'm not saying he don't deserve blame, but what I'm saying is when you are ready, Jason, it's like you mentoring me. You're going to get impatient with me sometimes. I just switch my earpiece from here to here and I was laughing at myself because I looked at yours. Sometimes you, before you get really good I'll at something. I'll say this, and anybody here that works with me can say this. There's, I've told, from day one, three years ago, I said, if anything ever goes wrong, it's my fault. It's not your fault, his fault, anybody, it's my fault. That's my philosophy. Mm -hmm. And again. Doesn't mean you don't get frustrated, right? You will get some frustration. Yeah, but you're live. Jason, you're really good at what you do. You're live. Now, if anything happens behind scenes that will disrupt your character, disrupt your personality that people see I'll, after a while... I'm going to start from a place of it's my fault. What I did I do that caused them to make that mistake? 
It may turn out to be nothing, but my starting point is with me. And when you're LeBron James... He's not the only one. Kobe Bryant, too. And you come here, to me, the starting point, he came here and he knew this year wasn't about championships. He Mm -hmm. knew it. Okay. And he hasn't handled it well, and he's doing a lot of finger-pointing because he's too concerned with narrative. You ever... He's too concerned with narrative and making sure he's always managing his legacy and reputation. Can I ask you the question? Being an athlete, mm. when you were younger, you can do anything, okay? Physically. <laughs> you would basically never got hurt. Oh, yeah. The older you got, you get hurt. Now, your brain says something different than your body. So now when I'm getting hurt, these little knickknacks or whatever it is, now I'm frustrated, not with everyone else. I'm frustrated with myself because subconsciously, father time is starting to kick in. Not saying LeBron is yep, no, da- on a down climb, but he is impatient because the way you can turn it on five but years ago, you can't do him, now. Man. Well, the way I heard he it... He was in fourth place before he got hurt. That's all I'm saying. The way I heard it is Howie Long said it best. I, I think Howie Long December. said it best. When you... <laughs> <laughs> Please. Here's you the stop it. it. When uh, you first get in the league, <laughs> your elevator physically is at the top of the building. And mentally, and knowing the game is at the bottom. He said, your prime is when they both meet. Because <laughs> this one's coming down, this one's coming up. Where they meet. LeBron's obviously is not in, in the same position right now. Here's what I witnessed from LeBron and what's going on with the Lakers. When we're watching you, guess what? We're also learning from you. Mm-hmm. And we're learning good behavior, bad behavior. This is what parents miss out on a lot of times. What did I tell you? Mm-hmm. What did you show me? Yeah. Hey, when we sitting there in the back of the bus, man, we trying to get a little extra work, whatever it may be, or we sitting there in, tr- in practice and you got another billion dollar deal on the line, but we talking about this. Okay, that's fine, LeBron. That's cool because we know you're going to show up Mr. Triple Double. Right. However, we watching film with you, brother. You're so right. Is that effort the best player in the game ever? Right. And we can, you can point it out, but we don't need to point it out. We all see do it. Do as I say, not as I do. Right, and then the collective, the collective confidence starts to erode. And next thing you know, it's like, well, if you ain't setting the tone, then what tone is there to, to, to live by mm-hmm. and to set? So mm-hmm. I think it's really been eat, eaten up from inside. I, I th- and this is where I'm sympathetic to LeBron, mm-hmm. because we in the media have the LeBron Olympics going on every day, mm-hmm. every single day. And whether he wants to participate in LeBron Olympics or not doesn't matter. He just get the LeBron Olympics are on, and everybody's talking about my legacy and where mm-hmm. I rate to Jordan. And so he got caught up in the LeBron Olympics and is hyper-focused on controlling media narrative. Everything that LeBron does now publicly is 1,000% calculated. And again, he, he's looking at this lost season. He don't want the blame for it. Yeah. Because it's a little knock against his Jordan legacy deal. And again, he didn't sign up for that. We created the LeBron Olympics and we've dragged him into it. I'm saying he needs some friends, just like Bob Kraft. A lot of these guys, Bob Everybody Kraft, need friends. They do. <laughs> Bob Kraft with six titles, LeBron James with all this success, all this money, everything. You gotta have people in your camp that be like, hey man. Let's look at things a different way. Let all this finger pointing and bad mouth, because th- that's creating a narrative as well. Mm. And I think there are going to be guys around the league. LeBron needs to be careful. Guys around the league, like, and and Kevin Durant was the first one to step out here. He's, the environment around LeBron is toxic. Not a direct shot at LeBron. It's a statement of fact that the LeBron Olympics are toxic. Toxic for LeBron and everyone caught up in it, and it becomes a blame game. And it's not a, a celebration of let's do it together. It's like, who's going to get blamed? Because only one guy is going to get credit if we win. Everybody else gets the blame. Somebody needs to pull LeBron's coat. Mm. Okay. All right. You got nothing? Young, those, no, should, no, no those young guys. Bill into this? No, but. <laughs> <laughs> no, LeBron James, listen, they're young. And being young, it's very frustrating. And LeBron James is like kind of, I guess, waking up out of the fantasy land of saying, wow, you know what? I can't just you know, do this, I got to do way more. And he said he was activated. Activate then, damn it. I don't know.